This is Tech Unmuted, the podcast of modern collaboration, where we tell the stories of how collaboration tools enable businesses to be more efficient and connected with your hosts, George Shanestein and Santi Cuellar. Welcome to Tech Unmuted. Welcome to another episode of Tech Unmuted. Uh, and today we're going to look at a brand new app that Microsoft has released for Microsoft Teams that I think you're going to find very interesting. But before we begin, let me just remind everybody, please take this time to subscribe and hit that notification bell. By the way, you can also share our podcast with a friend and even leave a comment down below. We love comments. We want to hear from you. Uh, well, Microsoft keeps adding more and more innovation to Teams. And they just added something called the Walkie Talkie app. It's basically a push to talk app. Now, before I tell you all about the app and what it can do, I figured let me just show you how this functions. Um, and then I'll walk you through some use cases. Uh, but basically, I already installed the app. It is only available on your mobile device. So it's going to be on your mobile device only. It's a big blue button that you hold down and you speak into it. So I have my friend Eric on standby. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a try and see how this works. This is Santi reaching out to Eric Feldman. Uh, I'm very sorry that your Eagles have lost to the Cowboys. Just saying. <laughs> See what happens tomorrow night when your dolphins play the Chiefs. <laughs> well, I'm not going to bet because I may lose. Uh, let's just enjoy the game. Hey, by the way, uh, we should probably hop on a podcast and uh, have some banter sometime in the future. Santi's out. There you go. Pretty cool. Um, so if you can, if you remember. Uh, there was a time where uh, I think even Sprint had uh, the push to talk on their phones and everybody was walking around using their phones as a radio. Um, and there's been other uh, solutions that have come out ever since. But this is really smart by Microsoft because I want you to think about this for a minute. Basically, what you're doing is you're taking what normally would be a separate platform, like a separate radio or a separate uh, uh, a device or something, and you're bringing it into a very uh, familiar environment. It is what they use today, uh, if they use Microsoft Teams, for their daily workflows. So this is this is actually a very smart move, and I'm glad they did it. Um, so a couple things to note about this new application. I'm actually very excited about this application, and I'll tell you why. Um, first, um, it only works on your mobile device. And so uh, it's not, obviously, you're not going to walk around with a laptop using that as radio. And so it's only going to be on your on your Apple, uh, your iPhones, and on your Android phones. So that's the first thing. Second, um, there, it's not something you're going to be able to find um, by default in the App Store. It has to be... Um, released or allowed by your IT uh, department. So your IT folks have to first make the app available to your organization, and then you'll be able to find it in the app store. So just, it's not, it's not available by default. It has to be uh, authorized by your IT folks. So just keep that in mind. And then uh, the, the third thing to keep in mind with regards to the walkie talkie app. So, it's mobile, mobile device only, uh, needs to be authorized uh, by your IT department. And then finally, it will only work with a channel. What does that mean? Okay. So within Microsoft Teams, you can create a team, right? And underneath that team, there'll be different channels. And so, you add, you can have up, I think it's up to five channels. You can have up to five channels. So basically you add a channel, you tie the walkie talkie app to a channel. 
So obviously Eric and I are in a channel that's underneath the team that we're both part of. And so we're able to test this radio. Um, and so that's how that works. So that's the key. It won't work any other way. And I, again, I believe it's, it's up to five uh, uh, channels. Uh, one more thing. It will work with wireless devices. Um, now I use an iPhone and I use the Beats Pro uh, earbuds. No issues. Works. I've tested it. Works perfectly fine. However, when it comes to the Android phones, there seems to be a list of approved and tested wireless devices. So I'll see if I can provide that link uh, to that list. Uh, but there's there doesn't does not seem to be a list for iPhones. So I guess if you have an iPhone and you have a wireless device that works with your iPhone, it seems it looks like it's going to work just fine. At least my experience so far using the Beats, no issues whatsoever. And so, so anyway, so it's the Walkie Talkie app, um, and it's pretty cool because, like I said, it lives right on your uh, phone and inside of your Teams environment, which uh, folks are already using anyway. Here's the beauty about this app, okay? It costs nothing, meaning it is included with your existing Microsoft Teams subscription. So you, there, there's, it's a win-win, right? Um, and it's very easy to use. It's a big blue button. You just hold it down and you push the button to talk and then you release the button to listen to what the other person has to say. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so yeah, so it's great because uh, it's no additional charge. It's part of your Microsoft uh, subscription, and and you can just add this app and use it as a radio. Okay. Now, use cases. Why? Why? Why should we even matter? Why is this such a big deal? I'll tell you why it's a big deal. Think about a campus environment. So campus environment could be a hospital, could be a university, large campuses, right? Um, they probably have radios. Maybe it's a security team that has radios. Who knows? Uh, but now you have to manage an entire infrastructure of radios. Um, so that's one thing, right? You can have you can have people just use their phone, which they all have. All you need is internet connectivity. So it, it'll it'll work over your 5G connectivity, or it'll work over your Wi-Fi connection. It doesn't matter, right? So you just need internet connectivity. Uh, think about retail. Retail uses it all the time. All you have to do is walk into any retail store and you're going to see folks with their 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 uh, earpiece and that line going down to the radios. Uh, now they can eliminate that and use their wireless headsets and use their regular phones. So it eliminates that. Um, think about also, for example, uh, uh, maybe a large warehouse, right? Large warehouses where trying to speak to workers that are scattered uh, inside this huge complex uh, may be easier to just do a push to talk. Uh, the biggest thing for me is that you're replacing uh, probably an old infrastructure of radios and chargers, and maybe there's maintenance involved with them, and maybe uh, the, mess the, the signal's not as clear because it's uh, trying to uh, ride a, a, you know, a, a, an antenna versus uh, sending a packet over the internet. Whatever the case may be, you're basically bringing everything into Microsoft Teams. And just, to me, it just makes sense. Now, here's the other thing. So far, all the examples, all the use cases I gave you are localized, meaning it's a campus, it's a warehouse, it's a hospital. And so if you take a radio with an antenna, uh, those walkie-talkies probably have, you know, a two mile radius, a one mile radius. And the further away you get, uh, it, the harder it is to, to hear those radios. Um, but if you have a fleet and so now you have a bunch of trucks on the road and drivers and there's a whole fleet and they're out there. Um, obviously they could be all over the country for all we know, they could be all over the world. Well, so if you're, if you're driving interstate, for example, and you're, you need a radio, you're going to have to pay for service or, or have a different type of radio that's going to use repeaters, right? Or even like a citizen band radio. 
Um, and you're not going to be able to reach those people on a citizens band radio. They're too far, right? Somebody else will, will, will speak to them, but not you won't as a logistics manager, for example. And so you need to invest now into uh, a technology that uses repeaters. Um, anyway, it, we, we can go on, on, on those, those, those drivers, those truck drivers have a phone. And if you already have a Microsoft, uh, 365 environment, you have teams, now they can just push the big blue button on their phone and speak to you and you can speak to them. Um, if, you know, if it's connected to their Bluetooth car, you can, they, they can do hear this while they're driving. I mean, it's just, to me, it just makes sense, right? It's just, it's one more thing that you bring into the fold. Um, so I think it's a very good idea that Microsoft did this kudos to them. Um, I do see a, a lot of great application. Uh, and use cases for something like this. And again, it's it's now part of your Microsoft environment. It's all included. And so there's no need now to invest in uh, additional hardware. So so then it's you know it's a short podcast because what it is is there's always something new that Microsoft releases. There's always something. it's it's hard to keep track of it. Um, this one just stood out for me. One, it's fun. you know, you can turn your, your phone and your team's application into a push to talk radio. That's awesome. But two, I think there's absolutely real world business cases and value for something like this. And I wanted to put it out there. Um, so if you have a Microsoft uh, environment and you are using teams and there is currently a need for push to talk or what they, what we used to call walkie talkies, um, this is this is the app for you. Um, it's already available. Uh, uh, it's been it's been made generally available by, by Microsoft for Teams users. Uh, but again, your admin has to authorize. Or else it won't show up on your on your app store. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's great. Uh, so uh, remember, it you do have to tie it to a Teams and uh, a team within your Teams. Okay, um, and it's tied to a specific channel. It could be the default channel. You know, when you create a team inside of Teams, the, it automatically gives you a channel called General. It could use that channel as well. You don't have to create a separate customized channel because I have one where it's, a, it's the general default channel that's created. And I have another one uh, that is a custom channel and it works in, in both instances. So it doesn't really matter, but it does have to be a channel. OK, um, so that being said, uh, that brings this podcast to an end. Uh, check it out. It's the new walkie talkie app from Microsoft uh, for your Microsoft Teams environment. Um, I love to hear uh, if if you're able to implement it, if you start using it, if you if you've seen uh, an increase in productivity because you're able to do this, uh, were you able to get rid of old, you know, archaic hardware <laughs> and phones? I'm sorry, and radios. Uh, I, I would love to hear uh, uh, as what's the results. But yeah, Go out there now, speak to your IT folks, uh, have them activated in your store, download it, give it a test run, um, and turn your your Microsoft Teams mobile app into a push to talk radio. It's pretty cool. So, folks, uh, please remember to subscribe uh, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Tech Unmuted. But until next time, stay curious, stay connected. Visit fusionconnect.com slash techunmuted for show notes and more episodes. Thanks for listening.